Hey y'all, if you remember from last week, complementary colors are colors that complement each other or go really well together, and they are directly across from one another on the color wheel. Green goes with red, blue goes with orange, and purple goes with yellow. So for this week's activity, we're practicing using our complementary colors. So let's see, our background is green, and if I look at the color wheel, Green's complementary color is red because they are directly across from one another on the color wheel. So your job or your assignment this week is to draw a complementary color monster. Because the first background is green, we know our monster has to be red. You could do a fuzzy monster, a furry monster, a squiggly monster. It does not matter as long as you use the complementary color, or in this case, red. Red is a very strong and bright color for me, and it makes me think of people that are angry or mad. So I'm going to make a crazy angry monster. To help you design your monsters, use what we learned with carving pumpkins and making expressions. So if I want my monster to be angry, I want my eyebrows to be angry eyebrows or be pointing down. Now remember, your monsters don't have to be exactly like my monsters, that's okay. Some people think of red, they think of love, so you can make a love monster. Also notice here that I'm using different shades of red to help me make my monster. He's almost done, let me add in a few highlights and some nice sharp teeth, and I think he's almost complete. All right, let's look and see what our next background color is. It's purple. So let's go to our color wheel. Purple's complementary color would be directly across from it. Or it'd be yellow. So our monster needs to be yellow. Remember, you can create any monster that you can think of as long as you're using yellow or different shades of yellow. I'm gonna fast forward my drawing of my yellow monster and then I'll go to the last background. So let's look at our last background. The color is blue. Let's go to our color wheel. And blue's complementary color is directly across. So it should be orange. We need to draw an orange monster. I'm going to do the same thing again where I actually fast forward through my orange monster drawing or my complementary color monster. Now, I do not want you to copy my monsters. I want you to come up with your very own monsters as long as you're using the complementary color. And I cannot wait to see what you come up with. I have a very creative bunch of students. So here is my final orange monster. And let's go back and review. For the first page, my background was green, so I made a red monster. For my second one, the background was purple, so I made a yellow monster. 
And for the last one, my background was blue, so I made an orange monster. Oh, you know what I just noticed? And some of you may have noticed this already, but all of our backgrounds are cold colors, while all of our monsters are warm colors. I can't wait to see your monsters and what expressions you give them, and if you show any texture, I'm very excited, if you can't tell. Alright, happy drawing!